Hello everyone, my name is Jack Sorrell, and today I'm going to show you how to install custom firmware on your Nintendo 3DS, running firmware version 11.8 for free. This video was delayed by quite some time, but here it is now. I still feel a bit sick from last week, so if I sound strange, that's the reason why. But anyway, this video works on all 3DS and 2DS systems, running firmware version 11.8. To check your firmware version, open up System Settings, and it will be shown in the bottom right corner of the top screen. Your firmware version must start with 11.8. If yours doesn't, Please do not follow this video as it will damage your 3DS. If yours does start with 11.8 then you're good to go. Also, here's my quick warning about custom firmware. Unlike Homebrew which lives on your SD card, custom firmware changes files on your system and can lead to permanent damage if done incorrectly. So make sure to follow this video exactly and make sure you're on firmware 11.8. Keep in mind that your 3DS must have Homebrew installed to follow this video. If yours doesn't, click the I in the top right corner to watch my Homebrew guide for firmware version 11.8. Before we get started, it's time to shout out our channel supporters. On Patreon, we have Alexandy1, Boxfish, Christian, North Act, The Gamer SK, and Tyler Z. And for our channel members, we have North Act again. And we also have Alex T, so a huge shout out and thank you to them. But now, let's get started, and remember to leave a like on this video if it helped you out. First of all, head over to your PC, and in your browser's URL bar, type in 3ds.console.guide, and you'll be taken to the 3ds page on my website. Scroll down to this video, then click Frog Rider and Custom Firmware Files. You'll also see this button, which gives you a couple of things to avoid doing to keep your 3DS safe. Once you click this button, it will take you to this Google Drive page. Click the download button, then save the zip folder to your desktop. Extract the contents of the zip folder to your desktop. Then open your 3DS's SD card. Open the folder you just downloaded, then open the part 1 folder. I've made this part really easy. Just copy all of these files to your 3DS's SD card. Once you've done that, eject the SD card and put it back into your 3DS. Now on your 3DS, open up the Homebrew Launcher. Then open your new FrogTool Homebrew app. In the FrogTool app, select Export Clean DS Download Play, then press A. Then tap the frog to continue. And finally, press the start button to exit. Now move over to your PC. Since you followed my last video on how to install Homebrew, you should still have this movable.sed file. If you've lost yours since that video, you can re-download it from BruteForceMovable.com. Click the I to see that video, and skip to 6 minutes 25 seconds. Once you've got your movable.sed file, open up your 3DS's SD card, and you should see this new file on it. Copy this file to your desktop. Back on my website, click this button, and it will take you to this website. In this box, enter anything you want, just make sure to remember it. Click the first Choose File box, then choose the file you just copied to your desktop. 
and in the second box, upload your removable.scd file. Then click the build button. Now we have to wait for about 30 seconds. Once you've done that, enter your username into this box here to search for it. And here's my entry here. Click your username, then click here to download your file. Save it to your desktop, then close the website. Right click the file, and then click properties. Then delete your username and the underscore from the file name. It should now be named this.bin.patch. Click OK and then click Yes. Then copy the file to the root of your FreeDSC's SD card. Then eject the SD card and put it back into your 3DS. Over on your 3DS, open up the Horebrew launcher and launch Frog Tool once again. Choose the second option, import patch DS download play, then press A. Then just like before, tap the frog. Then choose Boot Patch DS Download Play and press A. You'll then be taken to Flipnote Studio, which is a DSi app, and as you can see it's in Japanese. So just skip through all of these messages to continue. Then tap this big button here, the one on the left. And then tap the SD card option. Tap the Lenny face, and then tap this button here, the one on the right. Tap the frog to see the menu, on the bottom left corner. Then tap the film icon right here. Tap on frame number 3 and then tap this button here. Tap on frame number 1, then tap the new option here. Wait a few seconds and you should see this screen. Navigate to install boot 9 strap, then press A. Then press start and select at the same time to continue. Then press home and then tap OK. You should now get this screen. Scroll down to show NAND or user string in system settings, then press A to select it. Then press start and you'll be taken to your home menu. Let's open up system settings to see if it worked. And there it is, it now says system 11.8, whereas before it just said version 11.8, now we know we have custom firmware. Next we have to restore our DS download play. To do this, open up Frog Tool and choose the fourth option, Restore Clean DS Download Play, then press A. This part was shot on my new camera by the way. It doesn't look perfect right now, but by next week it'll look great.
Now power off your 3DS and put the SD card back in your PC. Open up the part 2 folder and copy these two folders to the root of your 3DS's SD card. Then eject the SD card and put it back into your 3DS. And now for the last step which is to install Homebrew to your 3DS's home menu. You'll find the final step in this video. Once you've done it, return back to this one. Click the eye to watch that video. From 7 minutes 20 to 11.55. Pause this video then come back when you're done. Ok, so now you should have access Rosalina from Download Play. Install the CIAs using FBI and then patch the homebrew app sound. Once you've done all that, that's pretty much it. However, I strongly recommend making a system NAN backup. Like I said in that video, I have instructions on my website below this video's downloads at 3ds.console.guide. But for this video, that's it. You now have custom firmware running on your 3DS on firmware version 11.8 for free. Well, that's all for today. My name's Jack Sordell, and I'll see you next Sunday with a brand new video.